good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are watching this video. It's about 8.30 in the morning here in Thailand. The sun's up and it's getting hot. Uh, so I thought this is another time to do a video. 16 weeks in, 4 months living in Thailand. I am feeling that I can give a better opinion now after being here 4 months. One of the things, if you are going to move to Thailand and you're thinking of re retiring here, uh, it's very exciting. But I've, I've learned over the first 16 weeks um, that it's only when you actually start to get settled, you understand, is it the dream? Am I now living the dream? When we left our house in the UK, March the 7th, 2018, that day was very exciting. Landing in Thailand was exciting, getting to our house. At that point, we had building projects with a subscriber room and office, which we jumped straight into. We cleaned the house and we bought a few bits and pieces to make it homely, whilst our belongings were en route from the UK to Thailand by boat, by, in a container. At this moment, four months in, our goods are in Bangkok, but have not been cleared and sent here. Yet that should happen in the next week, one hopes. With not having our goods from the UK, we are making do with old furniture, old belongings, um, and a limited amount of clothes. We've bought a few new ones. So until our goods arrive, and we can then set up the home to feel more homely with our personal effects, our freezer, um, some other cooking devices and cutlery, etc. It's not going to feel completely like a home. It's taken some 10, 15 years to build this house and get everything ready for the retirement. But in my case, the first six weeks was building projects. That kept me busy, not hit retirement yet because I was organizing all that. And it kept my mind occupied. It helped me acclimatized to the heat well I thought I was acclimatized the heat here in Thailand very humid average 35 degrees upwards every day in this semi-rural part of Thailand and I imagine if you go to Bangkok or one of the cities it might be one or two degrees cooler than where we are here I might be wrong it might be the other way Getting used to the temperature, the humidity, it's taking a lot. I've gone, I've lost 15 kilos in weight just because of my diet's changed from a very bad diet in the UK to a better diet here in Thailand. I'll go into that weight loss, the diet and the hospitals on the next video, but my body has gone through a bit of a crash trying to acclimatize to Thailand. And that's put me in a frame of mind that's negative in some ways. Living the dream, as I hoped it would be, is still there on the cards. But with so many building projects we've been doing, and little ones still doing, my mind hasn't had a chance to start, start settling into real Thai life. It's only the past two weeks, two and a half weeks, that I'm beginning to feel this is my home. The Thai people are amazing. Thai food is amazing. The climate is takes some getting used to, but once acclimatized, I think we'll be fine. It's things like in the afternoon, three or four hours are so hot, you can't go out. Unless you've got a budget that allows you to just jump in the car and go off around some aircon shopping malls or down to a beach. Just wander around where it's cooler. Um, we haven't got that luxury. Our budget is quite small. Again, I'll, I'll be doing another video on living in Thailand, the budget we have and the budget other people are having. So watch out for that video in the near future. But 16 weeks in, YouTube, having YouTube, having you as su subscribers, supporters, the community, you have kept me in a very good place mentally. Um, I have not had any time at all to get bored in, not once, because I have so many jobs to do around the house. If we were in rented accommodation, 
it wouldn't feel the same because I wouldn't be doing jobs on the house because it wasn't ours. So I can imagine that could cause a bit of boredom if you've uh, got nothing to do around the house. In which case, if you're on a low budget and you start going out and about to get rid of the boring times, you end up spending more money and going over budget. You have to expect um, living in Thailand to be different to your country. The budget in your country, what you spend, what you earn, to coming here and probably relying on pensions, savings, um, and then you businesses you've uh, invested in, money coming in from there. But it is cheaper to live here. It is cheaper to live here. Currently we're um, we're probably spending a thousand baht a day. But I'll try and get into a full breakdown of that and uh, go through that with you. Money is very easy to spend here. As I've said before, the thousand baht note, which is about 30 American dollars, 25 U uh, UK pound, you can just spend one of those notes without blinking. So getting the grip of your money is very important. From day one, you can overspend early when you arrive and retire. You could spend way too much too quickly if you're not careful. So I do suggest you plan at the beginning a bit more money available for the first few months. I've been sick for nearly 10 days now, on and off for 10 days and I've had a lot of interaction with the local hospitals, the different hospitals and doctors. Next video, I'll tell you all about that. But that has caused me concern over bacteria, cleanliness of food in Thailand, and it scared me a bit away from Thai, Thai food, street food. Um, it, has, it has put me off a bit. I'm now washing my hands every time I'm near you know the uh, sink Kirby's trying to knock the tripod over <laughs> I'm very very aware now of bacteria problems here how easy it is to get um, a bacteria infection even so much so that I'm gonna go out and buy a big new fridge and every work surface I do like Kirby. Every work surface is going to be scrubbed. We're going to do a deep clean on the house because it's so easy to get bacteria here. A lot of the Thai people, including my wife, they buy lots of Thai food and they'll eat half it and throw it in the fridge. And the fridge is getting contaminated with different meats next to each other, etc. So getting that into my wife's head and anyone who's here, like Sam, Getting the cleanliness sorted out is now become a thing that I'm going to have to deal with. It's going to take me a few weeks to get back into eating Thai food, Thai food off the street. But when you get good Thai food on the street, it's amazing. Ah, Kirby, what you like? Yeah, the food is amazing, but it has put me off this um, these infections I've picked up the last few weeks. So that has changed my outlook at the moment. The weather, I'm getting used to. It's fine. Um, and the heat, you learn to keep out of the heat at certain times of the day. The local Thai people have accepted me and them. We have integrated in the village fine. And you guys come in to visit, subscribers and things. There's been quite a few of you now, and it's been amazing having you here has um yeah 16 weeks in this, this is one thing that's new to us completely having that subscriber room for you guys to come and stay spend some time here um we've not done anything like that in our lives before as far as people staying with you and entertaining every time some, some one of you comes um we're learning something new each time and although it's fabulous here in the village and there's lots to see it's not easy for us to get up and spend 24 hours with you and take you around these places because it costs money for us um, that we haven't really got but anywhere we take you it takes time up and YouTube has suffered a bit the last few weeks with me and subscribers here because I haven't got into doing more and more um, detailed videos 
I've been spending time with subscribers. So we've got to get that right. Uh, the the mix of when you come, of what time we'll spend with you, what you're going to do. We're going to get, uh, Ron is working on a, a brochure type book um, for the subscribers, for you guys when you come. What's around here, maps and things like that. And that will make life a bit easier for you. Definitely. As we say, we've got the motorbikes here, you can borrow and off you go. Everything is um, is good now. I'm feeling like I'm facing retirement and understanding what it's going to be. Daily life is, for me, good because there's lots of little jobs for me to do around the house and things like fitting a couple of new rails for making the subscriber room disabled friendly. Um, putting shelves up soon when I've got them come from England. Lots of jobs around the house, building little jobs that keep them busy, which is great. Bigger projects coming up for Mem and Sam very soon. But I'm going to try and not get too heavily involved in those. I want to start kicking back a bit and taking you guys out um, with me to see other sites around here. We also want to try and get a couple of days away down by the beach somewhere and uh, we'll again we'll film all that. I think by now most of you have seen around the house all the hammocks, the snooker building and you've seen what's here uh, and we have spent, I have spent a lot of time at the house haven't been going out much especially the last 10 days with the sickness that has um, caused me a little bit of concern because I haven't been able to make the videos I want to make out and about but as I'm starting to feel better now and hopefully get over these bugs we can get back to uh, some of the plans we had for the videos Kirby is being a pain well you like <laughs> over there. Ha. Now what is it with a tripod and cats? The five kittens are running wild at the moment. They're at that age, they're almost time for their injections. We are looking at uh, keeping them. They are quite pricey to keep with all the dry food and stuff but if I have to go without a couple of beers or something I think it's well worth it. They'll also keep any vermin away from the uh, house which is good field behind me has been ploughed, um, re-ploughed and uh, any day now I imagine Ma will get that little dak dak with a plank of wood I showed you on one of the videos and flatten all the land again, the mud, before he seeds for the next uh, crop of rice. Oh, I can't believe it. What you like Kirby? Behave. <laughs> so 16 weeks in. Apart from the sickness I've had, I'm beginning to feel like I'm slowing down and retiring, which is fabulous. Meeting you guys all the time has been brilliant. Every one of you that comes brings more stories. I will be looking at maybe doing some of your stories. Um, and if any of you do come here and you want to be part of a video, let me know. Tell me. You know, we can do something together. If you've got a story you want to tell on video and share with the rest of the community, it's not a problem. Anybody who does want to come, please email me. Give me a bit of warning when uh, you want to come. Right now, it's we've got a visitor arriving tomorrow, I believe, for one night. And over the next few weeks, we've got people coming. So the best, the more notice you can give us, the better. It uh, helps us. We have got a spare room in the house, so if it gets too many people coming, you end up sleeping in the snooker club or in the garden in a tent. But it won't be a problem. Mem, handbag business ticking over, but it's not really exciting her like it, so I thought it would. Um, so she is about to start a new business, which once she's registered the business with the lawyers and uh, got all the paperwork done, I'll then share all that with you. So that's going to be quite a nice little business. People are asking about micro business and things like that. Time, a few more months, we'll get into that on the micro businesses. At the moment, it's just a case of. Uh, getting acclimatized to Thailand, understanding what you can do and can't do. Um, I'm just waiting for our goods to arrive. 
as soon as they arrive that's going to change some of the things for me because I've got camera equipment in there for the channel and I've got desks and oh, all my personal stuff that I'm missing that's really going to make this place feel a bit more like home having six cats running around and two dogs well <laughs> we never had the luxury in our home in the UK we just had a small home so it's we're both animal lovers and especially me so it's nice having that the animals about we've got no pet snakes at no plans on getting any or anything exotic like that or at lizards we just leave the wild ones out there and watch them 16 weeks in there you go guys that's me i'm sort of uh, i'm getting into a happier place with my mind i'm uh, on the mend for the bugs hopefully which will make me feel better anyway i'm happy i've made the move what am I missing from the UK most? It's food, it's different foodstuffs. You can get some things here in Thailand, but not everything. Um, it's just the little peculiar things that you don't think about when you come here. But suddenly you think, I like that, that would be nice. And uh, you can't get it. One of you, Andy um, Holmes, dropped in. He got off the plane, he came here, and then he went off to see someone in Hua Hin. Um, he brought me some Uncle Ben sweet and sour sauce which it's, it's for stir fries and things I've searched everywhere here and can't find it and he brought me some so thank you Andy you're an absolute star and then yesterday Andy Oswald dropped in on his way back from Patea to his home in Charam to see how I was and catch up and he has got me some, some pork sausages which I haven't got my hands on yet because I'm feeling so bad so in the next few days I will put those and cook them, put them out of the freezer and cook them. Looking forward to eating those. Getting British sausages here is very hard. He got them in Patea at one of the supermarkets, which sounds like Sainsbury's, but it's not Sainsbury's. Sainsbury's or something. Um, so looking forward to trying those. But that's the biggest thing I'm missing from the UK. Family back there, we talk every week. So with the beauty of the internet and Skype and WhatsApp, etc., it's not too bad at all. And yeah, all good, settling in at last. So I'll catch you on the next video. I'm just watching a lizard, which is called a Ching Lin, which is a bit like a slow worm in the UK. Um, so it's a harmless lizard with a brown body and a cream stripe. Just climbed into one of the motorcycles engine bay. I can just see him shot in there. <laughs> Insects and animals of Thailand. I have to set some uh, time lapse uh, videos up of these different animals and try and catch some of them on film for you. Waffling again, I'm sorry, as usual. I will catch you on the next video, which I'm going to talk about is the sickness in hospitals and the what's happened in the last few days with me and hospitals and health insurance. I've started to purchase it. See you on the next video and tell you about that. Thanks for watching. Any comments as usual below. Uh, any questions, drop in below. And uh, if any, as I said, if any of you want to come and stay, just email me, let me know, or Facebook Messenger. Um, give me some rough dates so I can put it in the calendar. Bye for now, guys. As always, thank you to all the new subscribers. And uh, don't forget, give us a thumbs up, share the video. It all helps. It's great. The channel's growing. And uh, I think we're at 16,000 plus uh, subscribers now. 16? Must be, I'm losing track. Time's flying. See you soon. Be good. Kirby, you're a pain in the butt. Why is it you... Why is it you... Love that tripod? Why do you love that tripod, eh? Why do you love that tripod? Huh? Look at the camera. You didn't see that lizard going the bike, did you? You didn't see that king wing. Mm. Mm. <laughs> see you soon, guys.